Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kayla. Today's video is going to be a 24 hour reading vlog in which I set a timer or a stopwatch or whatever I want to do and put it for 24 hours and press start and stop and only have it going when I'm reading. And this is going to be a way for me to see how much I can get read in like a 24 hour of active reading period. Um, also get some currently reading stuff off my shelf, start some November books potentially a little early because it's the 31st right now, um, get a jump start on that, and then just have fun. That's the gig. We're having fun here. We're doing our thing. So I'm going to start with The Kiss Curse by Aaron Sterling. I'm 31% of the way through with that in this current moment. Um... And then I have other things I can read, like The Retreat by Sarah Pierce, Wall of Ascension, Yerba Buena, Love on the Brain, A Record of Space Born Few. I have a whole bunch. I have everything on my TBR I could potentially pick. But so we're going to start with The Kiss Curse. And then we'll just go from there. See how I'm feeling. See what's going on. I'll probably read Wall of Ascension second. So this might be a Kiss Curse, Wall of Ascension vlog. But we'll see what happens. Okay. Um, but yeah, so I will come back when I am starting my timer and I'll see y'all then. Okay. Hey. Um, it is a time of day. It is a time of day and I am, I don't know how I can show you this. I have that much time left. So I have 15 hours, seven minutes and 41 seconds left. So if my math maths, that's nine hours that I've been reading for, for this. And in those nine hours, I read 227 pages of The Kiss Curse, 349 pages of Hidden Figures, and 15, nope, 52 pages of Ghost Light by Kenneth Opal. And I didn't math how many total that is. One second. So that's like 628 pages in nine hours. And if math is math, then that's about 69 pages an hour. Um, that's not too bad. I I feel like that's actually kind of good. Like that's more than a page a minute an hour. Um, but I kind of want to be faster. I want to I want to try to get more pages done. So today um, I'm working on Ghost Light by Kenneth Opal. I'm hoping by the end of today to get about 75% of the way through that. I'm 18%, so I don't know. Um, and then I'm also reading The Retreat by Sarah Pierce. I want to get about 50% of the way through that. That's an audiobook, but I think I'm like 5% of the way through now, so we'll see. I don't know. Um, I'll probably come back before the sun goes down. Um, maybe, maybe not. I've kind of wasted some of my day where I could have updated you earlier. Um, I'm very... I don't know. I don't, I don't like to be on here when people are home. So if the, if it's daylight and I'm still here by myself, then I'll update you. If not, I'll catch you tomorrow. You'll see what I updated. Yeah. So what else do I have to say? The Kiss Curse. Here we go. Let me talk about the books. Um, the Kiss Curse. I finished that. It was really good. Okay. All vibes. Nothing else. Um, the writing is kind of okay the actual plot is kind of okay but the characters and the vibes and that one scene um was it it was it so i think i gave it four stars really because i was obsessed with the cat i'm obsessed with wells and that one scene really got me going so those three things are why and vibes are why i got four stars um hidden figures i think i gave three stars and the idea with that is that the information i'm into i want to know more i want to watch the movie i want to know more the way in which the information was presented to me i was bored 
I didn't care. So yeah, that's why I gave that three stars. Anyway, um, Ghost Life by Kenneth Opal, I was kind of neutral about. I read the first chapter and was like, ooh, like ghosts. And then I was reading it last night and I had to put it down so I could go to bed. But I'm actually really into it. I think this is a middle grade, but honestly, I wouldn't count this as middle grade. I would count this more as like young adult. Just because of like how the characters are acting, I feel like if you got a summer job, like you're at least 15. So like this isn't, that's not middle grade. That's young adult. Um, That's like early young adult. So I don't know, but yeah, ghost light, um, a lighthouse, ghosts, um, a friendly ghost, a kid who does not believe in ghosts, the relative of the friend of the ghost. What? Just hold on. Let me read the book and I'll tell you about it later. Um, but yeah, that's it. Um, I'll see you later. Bye. It's been a week since I started this um, and here we are. So I am a very bad vlogger because I sometimes I'm very much like, oh, I can't film unless I have my makeup on and then I put my makeup on and then I start doing other things. And then by the time that I'm like, okay, I have something to say, or in this instance, oh, it's at like a round ish number for 24 hours. I can say something and then it gets dark and I there's just so many excuses that I can say that is the reason why I didn't update a whole lot so per my usual I'm here to batch say everything that happened um but I did have a good time I finished my I finished my 24 hours um the last four were very hard. I was very done with this um at the last four and that is because I was determining when I would read based on remembering to put the timer on and I don't think I liked that <clears throat> I don't think I liked that because it felt like I was dictating when I got to read and I'm very much the person that's like oh, I have five minutes let me read like a chapter real quick if the chapter's quick or I'm like doing something let me go do that thing and listen to my audiobook and then forget about the timer like I'm very like go with the flow whenever I have a chance reader and not like okay I have to put the timer on things like that so it was kind of hard um to do that and I really struggled with it for a little bit but at least towards the end so I think I honestly only updated y'all the first not after the first nine hours um but I'm done here we are um, so in the beginning, I finished The Kid's Curse, I finished Hidden Figures, I read 52 pages of Ghostlight. Um, I did start reading In Flames by Nicole Northwood. I um, really enjoyed that. What I have here on my spreadsheet, I kind of broke it down 
into the different like chunks but I didn't write when I wrote this I think these might be like by the day so I don't necessarily have like the hours I had left um but one of the days I read 72 pages of in flames and at that point I was at 70 pages per hour and then I did do remember that after this point I kind of was consistently at 70 71 ish pages an hour um so that's very interesting even with the audiobooks like I was still hitting 70 to 71 pages an hour um and I pretty I pretty much exclusively listen to my audiobooks on two times speed unless I'm feeling spicy and then I raise it up um so 72 pages of in flames this is a polyamorous fantasy romance um the main girl it's male male female so the main girl the main pov she is a matchmaker and she can kind of look at a couple and see whether or not they're like compatible and then like it's the whole thing where like you meet someone and you like just know in your heart like they're my match like they're my like mate um and so she meets something happens to her dad and then she goes to like this medical school and she meets this guy and she's like oh yeah like this is him and then the next day he's like hey um this dude that's on my hockey team I kind of got something from him like my heart started being a flutter um I want you to meet him and I want to see what's going on so like then she meets the other guy and he also makes her heart flutter and they're like this is confusing because like mates aren't normally three people they're always two people um and they kind of spark something trying to figure out if they are actually mates as three or if like something weird is happening and I really enjoyed it because the girl was pretty cool and then one of the guys was like tall dark and handsome and like the sunshine like golden retriever full energy and then the other guy was like blonde hair blue eyes and he was the grumpy guy and he was like kind of mean but like in a weird way and I just loved it um it was very good I really liked it um, I received this as like a review copy, gift copy from the author. So um, I don't really feel comfortable telling you my rating per se, but just know that I really enjoyed it. It was very good. Um, I'm like learning to seek out indie authors a little bit more now. So reading this was really good. So if you have Kindle Unlimited, it is on Kindle Unlimited. Um, please check it out. It's very good. So that was so the first day that I read that I read 72 pages of that and then the next day um I listened to Jeanette McCurdy's um I'm really glad my mom died and I read I like listened to that all morning on audio and I listened on two times speed it was 304 pages and I finished it in the sitting in which I was reading it because I was doing stuff around the house um and that's it's so good I really think you guys should read that um I think you should listen to it because it really is like kind of more raw and emotional if you're hearing her specifically talk about this stuff um and there was one part where she I do not remember exactly what she was saying but she was talking about something it was kind of towards the middle end and in the audiobook she really just went like she was talking and then she just took a deep breath and then like said a couple words and you could just tell she was just like fighting back like tears and I'm pretty sure she probably stopped recording at that point and kind of went off and like calmed down and then came back um because it just you could just hear how like vulnerable her voice sounded um really loved that and then I also the same day read 81 pages of In Flames I don't know what I read but one day I wrote five pages and then I wrote the date so probably In Flames I only read five pages that day um the next day I also wrote 120 pages not the date um so i'm assuming it's the next day and i'm also assuming that it's in flames because i did not write that right like what the book was so i did finish in flames and then my last like four hours i think of this i listened to and maybe not all in that four hours maybe i listened to it somewhere else but i did in the 24 hours listen to 47 percent of yerba buena which I think it's probably about 150 pages, maybe a little bit more. 
think that book is only like 320 pages. So 47% of Yerba Buena. And then I read 20% of A Curious Beginning. So that's pretty banging that I read that much. So I'm going to go calculate the pages because I didn't. Um, and then I'm going to come back and tell you how many pages I read in a 24 hour actually reading period. Hey, um, editing me here to say that I've lost this last clip. I must have deleted it. I can't find it. That's fine. Um, I went back and I'm not going to calculate the whole thing, but I'm guessing in the like looking at the spreadsheet that I read about 25, I think I read like 2,500 pages, 2,700 pages um, in that 24 hour period, which is pretty good. And then I think, not mistaken, it because at the end I really fell off. I think I only read like 67, no, like 63, 64 pages an hour as an average. So yeah, I did really good. I think I did really good. Um, but yeah, that's all I have. So sorry I lost the last clip. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you need to do to help my channel. Let me know in the comments if you've done something like this. I would love to see it. Let me know if you want to see this again. Uh, but yeah, so can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Bye.